Bones and All comes from director Luca Guadagnino, known for Call Me By Your Name and the 2016 Suspiria remake. It stars Taylor Russell of Wave and the Escape Room films, as well as Timothy Chalamet, who uh, needs no introduction, I assume. Bones and All is mainly a coming-of-age road trip movie with the added spice of cannibalism mixed in with the romance story and the quest to find yourself. Not having read the base material of the novel of the same name, I can't comment on how well Guadagnino adapted the story, but at times the characters felt quite constrained with certain moments we have just to build towards something in the plot, and others really felt like straight out of Call Me By Your Name as we float around in the present. But Guadagnino is really great at capturing that lost teen type of story, and whenever the more plot-based elements come into play, the film loses a bit of its quality. A big part of the film is dedicated to the proportionally frequent run-ins with other cannibals, which sometimes felt a bit overbearing but connected to the theme of finding your own way in and outside of a new community as you grow up. They also ate a bunch of people. Bones and All is not for the faint of heart with lots of blood and gore, but it is somehow innocent, kind and gentle with its characters, giving them room to be vulnerable, maybe not always with each other on screen, but with the audience as we get to see them on this very unique journey. Now, like I mentioned before, there are a couple of moments where the plot is giving a higher priority than the characters which happens to be especially noticeable towards the end of the film and made it a considerable amount less enjoyable to me and left a bit of a twisted sour aftertaste of the film in my mouth. Certain parts of the film are also a bit rushed but that might have been part of the novel so they had to fit it in. Again I haven't read the novel so I can't say that for sure but it's just the impression I got from the pacing of the film. Bones and All is a simmering pot of teenage angst with cannibalistic tendencies and is fine entertainment. But if you are looking for a more tame romantic version of a boy falling in love with a cannibal, you'll have to stick with Call Me By Your Name. My rating for Bones and All is a 7 out of 10. Subscribe for more reviews from Venice and I'll see you soon.